Hey everyone, it's Gabrielle. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. It was kind of just like, you know, on the spot what I wanted to do. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Me, So I have no makeup on right now. So I'm just going to go moisturize. Okay, so yes, I'm done moisturizing and I did use the Nivea cream. So now that I have all my moisturizer on, I'm gonna go into my foundation. And you know, it's weird because I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. And I'm mixing these just on the back of a, the lid of a jar. These were, this is filled with gumballs, but I've eaten them all. So I'm gonna take this on the back of a jar cap and I'm just going to mix these foundations, but I'm primarily going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless because it is a lighter shade and I like the formula of it because it looks very uh, kind of skin-like on me. Everyone has different uh, opinions on it and I'm taking about that much. And then for my Born This Way foundation, I have literally none left and it's it's an expensive foundation. So I'm just smacking this on the back. Like but the found, this fa formula um, for this foundation is absolutely amazing. It looks amazing on the skin and I just have none left. And it's like, no, I need to have some left. And then I'm taking this and mixing this in with the Maybelline foundation. Oh shoot, ugh. And now I'm just taking a brush to mix these two together to make that like perfect blend of foundation. So just mixing it like this. And then what I'm gonna do is, I guess this is like a get ready with me slash new foundation routine. I usually do use the Born This Way foundation, but I am out of it and I'm not tanned. So um, I'm just gonna go like this just for now, you know, kind of like you're highlighting with foundation. I'm gonna use my M439 by Morphe. This brush is amazing for buffing out foundation. So, so I'm going to buff this in circular motions because I really like the way this makes the foundation look. And as you can see, when you're buffing it out, it looks very natural. It looks very skin-like. what you have uh, left over here, go down your neck because we want our necks to match. Now we're going to be going into concealer. So I'm going to be taking the Fake Up by Benefit. Um, I used this a lot like in 2013. That was when I was just starting out with makeup but um, because my mom's friend gave it to us because my mom's friend is like, manager or something, Benefit Canada, or um, something high up there. Oh yeah, and I'm taking a Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Yeah, we're just gonna buff this in under the eyeballs because we want our under eyes to not look terrible. So that is the face part. Very simple. I love doing an easy face. I'm taking a powder puff. This is from Quo. And I'm just taking a loose, um, translucent setting powder. And I'm just gonna powder my face. This is really what helps my makeup look like skin for some reason. I don't want a lot of powder on there because I still like the dew. I like the dewy makeup now. I used to hate it, but I love it now. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna head into the eyeballs. And I'm taking the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. This is really cute. If you don't have it, you should get it because it's adorable. The colors in here are to die for. I'll do a review on this later. But I'm just going to take a little bit of my foundation just because I don't feel like finding my eye primer right now. Um, I'm going to take my MAC 224 and I'm dipping into the shade Danger from the Gwen Stefani palette with Urban Decay. And I'm just going to place this in my crease as kind of like a transition slash crease color. There's already some color left on here from a look I did yesterday that was like pinks and purples. So it's just a little bit more dimension and depth. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go into my Morphe. No, I'm gonna go, what palette should I go into? I mean, I could go into this. I think I'm gonna go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette. I take Dusty Rose by Anastasia Beverly Hills and buff this on my lid. 
It's a very nice muted light brown. And then I'm blending this out on the top so that they all look like they're seamlessly blended together. I, I like this look a lot. It's very, um, like, I don't know how to describe it, but you know, it's just like a very pretty look. I don't know, I, everyone loves using Dusty Rose as a transition color, but I hate it as a transition color. I need something much lighter. So now I'm gonna go and do like lower lash line, um, and I'm taking Dusty Rose and is it Aubergine, Aubergine? I don't know. And I'm putting this on the lower lash line very, very gently because they're very pigmented. Now we're serving some grungy eyes. I'm just going to do my brow bone. And then for blush, we're just gonna go very quick and easy. If I can find my blush brush, which I don't know where she is. Oh, I found her. This is a MAC, no number on here anymore because it rubbed off. Um, this is like my first um, face makeup brush. And I'm using MAC Weekend Getaway Blush. It's a cream blush. I'm just doing this to add some color back into my face since I am not bronzing today. For brows, we're going to go very, very, very simple and not a lot is going to be going on with the brows because I'm very unmotivated and I don't care about my brows that much anymore. Um, but I'm taking the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Okay, there are the brows. So now I'm just going to put some lips on and I don't know what to do because my lips are very dry. This is, my friend Sophie gave this to me. It's like Rimmel, Rimmel London, uh, the Kate Moss, so... I just love corally colors. They're my faves, but just to add some like ombre, I'm taking 714 by Jeffree Star Cosmetics, the liquid lipstick. I am literally out of this and it's painful. I'm gonna go do mascara off camera and then I'll be back. So this is the finished look. I really like it. I love the lips, I love the eyes, and the skin looks very dewy and fresh. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I have a whole bunch of new makeup tutorials coming. I have smoky eyes. Um, how I contour my nose, cream contouring, purple eyeshadow, a whole bunch of things, and I'm really excited, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time, so thank you for watching.